The search intensifying for whoever is responsible for unleashing this violence at a Sweet 16 party in a small rural Alabama town Saturday night. If you or you know somebody that has any information about what occurred last night, I cannot stress this enough, ever how minor you think it is, we absolutely need you to share it. Officials say four people were killed and more than two dozen injured when gunfire broke out at a crowded dance hall. There are no words to describe the emotions that we're all feeling. One hospital confirming it admitted 15 patients with gunshot wounds, most of them teenagers, five in critical condition. Survivor Bree Hutchinson speaking to ABC News from her hospital bed. I grabbed on to somebody, I don't know who, and I was yelling for help and nobody would help me. So I had to like gain my strength and like walk outside like after being shot. 18 year old Phil Dowdle was one of those who lost their lives. He was the birthday girl's brother and a star athlete heading to Jacksonville State on a football scholarship. He had one goal, get to the NFL and take his mom. His mother also shot, according to Dowdle's high school coach. She was a chaperone in here, so she was hit a couple times in the legs, too. It's tough right now for him, real tough. So far this year has seen more mass shootings than days. According to the Gun Violence Archive, President Biden issuing a statement following this latest shooting saying in part, this is outrageous and unacceptable. Our communities need and deserve better. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.